Diamond type is the classification of diamonds based on its impurity elements present in the crystal lattice. You know that diamonds are composed of carbon atoms. Pure diamonds are always colorless in nature. When impurity elements like boron and nitrogen present in the crystal lattice, it will exhibit some colors like yellow and brown. Sometimes very rarely, fancy colors like blue, pink, purple, orange, green, red, etc. will be exhibited by diamonds. The understanding of minute chemical elements present in the crystal structure is very important for the identification and separation of natural, synthetic and treated diamonds. By some modern techniques like spectroscopy, usually by infrared spectroscopy, scientists are analyzing the chemical elements present in the crystal lattice of diamond. The carbon atom comprised of six electrons. It means that four electrons are present in the valence shell of carbon atoms. To complete the octet and to be a stable atom, each carbon atom will attach or connected to the four adjacent carbon atoms by electron sharing or covalent bonding. This arrangement of carbon atoms are known as tetrahedral arrangement. By repeating this tetrahedral arrangement in a systematic way, carbon atoms are crystallizing in cubic crystal system. In the periodic table, you can see that nitrogen and boron are present nearby to the carbon element. These nitrogen and boron elements are mainly present as the impurity element in the crystal lattice of diamonds. In the diamond type classification, diamonds are classified into two types, type 1 diamonds and type 2 diamonds. When nitrogen elements are present in the crystal lattice as an impurity, these type of diamonds are classified as type 1 diamonds. In type 2 diamonds, there is no nitrogen elements present as an impurity in the crystal lattice. The type 1 diamond again subdivided into type 1A and type 1B. Around 95% of natural diamonds are type 1A diamonds. The type 1A means that nitrogen elements are present in, in a paired or clustered manner. This type 1A is again subdivided into type 1AA and type 1AB. Type 1AA means that when nitrogen elements are present in the crystal lattice as pairs, these diamonds will not show any color. Usually they are colorless in nature. The type 1AB means that when nitrogen elements are present in a clustered manner, like an even number of nitrogen elements present in an aggregate manner. Usually type 1A diamonds are colorless in nature. Very rarely they are showing some tints of yellow and brown. The type 1B means that when nitrogen elements are present in the crystal lattice as single isolated elements, 0.1% of natural diamonds belong to the type 1B category. The canary yellow diamonds are included in the type 1B category. 1B diamonds shows very dark yellow and brown colors. And next is the type 2 classification. I said that type 2 diamonds are devoid of nitrogen impurity. The type 2 diamonds again subdivided into type 2A and type 2B. The type 2A diamond means that that diamond is formed purely of carbon. There is no nitrogen impurity or other impurities present in the crystal lattice. Around 1 to 2 percentage of natural diamonds are formed in the type 2A category. Sometimes, very rarely, at the time of travel from the mantle region to the 
crust part of earth these diamonds may subject to some extreme pressure because of this activity some structural or lattice defects will cause for some colors like yellow brown pink purple orange red colors in this type 2a category and the next classification is type 2b diamonds in type 2b diamonds boron element will be present as an impurity because of this boron element the diamond will show gray to blue color type 2b category is very rare in nature around 0.1 percentage of natural diamonds included in the type 2b category so keep in mind that the impurity elements will cause for the coloration of natural diamonds the nitrogen element will cause for the yellow and brown color of diamonds and boron element is cause for the blue and gray coloration of diamonds you know that the atomic number of nitrogen is 7 it means that it has one extra electron in the valence shell when compared to carbon atom because of this the nitrogen element will known as the donor element in the diamond lattice because of its extra element present in the valence shell it will donate its extra electron to the crystal lattice and this extra electron will easily excite to the higher energy states and it will cause for the coloration of diamonds when in the case of boron boron has the atomic number of 5 one electron is deficient in the valence valence shell when compared to carbon atom and this electron deficiency will cause for the creation of hole in the crystal lattice and this hole will cause for the coloration of diamond and the electrical conductivity of diamonds the synthetic diamonds created by HPHT that means that high pressure high temperature process is always categorized as type 1B diamond and the synthetic diamonds created by CVD process chemical vapor depositing process is always categorized as type 2A diamonds so by knowing some about the diamond types and its chemical elements it will help you to identify and separate natural synthetic and treated diamonds the infrared and visible light spectroscopy and ultraviolet luminescence techniques are used for the identification of natural and synthetic diamonds you may get some idea of types of diamonds and its main chemical impurity elements present in the crystal lattice of diamonds thank you